Good morning. This is our first official full day in Brazil. And um, I'm standing outside of our house. This is our view. And this is the front part of our house. Um, I just wanted to say some things that I saw yesterday. Um, there's not really a lot of insects because it's winter here. Um, there's these crazy tropical birds that like squawk through the night. Pretty cool. I don't know what it is. Um, everything is like waxy. All the plants have like waxy leaves and they're like hanging and um, which is really neat. Um, <laughs> um, we had a simple breakfast of like bread and cheese this morning. Um, yesterday we got, we flew in, we um, waited at the airport, we then we went to all these different restaurants and they were all closed because it's siesta time. So we went to the market and we bought stuff and we cooked dinner. Um, but let's see, a couple things that stand out to me in Brazil is um, they don't really recycle, which I found interesting because a lot of countries, a lot of countries like with this many people often, you know, are really adamant about recycling and stuff. Um, at the market, they had one recycled container but uh, not major. And um, it's so weird because everything is so tropical and like, you know, stuff that would never grow in Gainesville. It's growing here. Um, and so, yeah, the house is amazing. Like, so amazing. Um, this front room has a hammock in it. And they have a lot of saints everywhere, as expected. And um, the guy that I was sitting next to on the international plane, he was really nice, but kind of like overly nice. So I don't know if that was just him being a little, little bit, you know, out there, or if that's how they are. Um, and so, yeah, so we're up on kind of like a little hill with a, a very twisty road and um, kind of in the middle of Sao Paulo but not really like on the out, outer edges which is neat because you know you get to experience something everything some guy just looked at me <laughs> um, yeah it's really cool here and um, you know your toilet paper goes in the trash can and you can't drink the water and um, I drink a lot of water and there's like a little um, ceramic filter and we already like emptied it I emptied it last night and so we've had it like dripping and it's been dripping for probably 18 hours and like there's only like an inch maybe of water in it that's filtered and ready to drink so we're gonna have to buy some water but um yep these are some trees that are above and um this whole entire porch was clear yesterday all of those leaves have fallen today and this morning. Um, there's like a lot of succulent plants that grow everywhere. I'm telling you, everything is hanging. So, it's really cool. Um, when we were walking all along up to the market, everybody has these like garages. <clears throat> and they pull their car in there and then they shut the gate. And so then they lock the gate. But then like the house kind of like just goes up. And so that's like considered their front door. There's no other main front door. And so, um, like, you just lock that, and then everything else is open. So, I mean, once you're up here, you could get onto the neighbor's yard. But, um, I mean, you would have to be up here first because it's pretty tall. But everyone has dogs in their little garage area. So when we were walking to the market, there was all these different dogs, and they were definitely ferocious. They were growling and barking, and you're just kind of like, yep, I understand dogs are important here. Um... But I haven't really seen any mutts. They're all pretty, like, purebred. And so, that's interesting. But um, today is supposedly going to be the hottest day. It's going to be about 80. And um, we're going to the market, which is exciting. Um, I'm surprised that there's not a lot of bugs here. Granted, it's, like, the middle of winter. I've only found, like, one moth. Um, and so, that's cool. And... Uh, Let's see. Um, yeah, it's just pretty cool. 
I sleep in this front room here, and uh, we could hear the the city and everything. And there was a bird that kept squawking. Do you really want to find an awesome tropical bird with lots of colors? There's a nest up there on the top of the house. Um, but it's it's pretty cool. Everything here has big leaves, big waxy, very nice foliage. Um, so yeah, we haven't really interacted much with like locals and stuff, so today we're going to go to the park. And it's Saturday, so we'll see how that works. Oh, one thing yesterday that was really interesting was the sun set, and it was like 5 o'clock. And then it rose at 6 o'clock this morning. So, well, it set at 5 p.m. here. And um, it was dark forever, and we were just trying to stay up to not, to beat the jet lag. And we we're just like, oh my gosh, it's like 9 o'clock, but it's like... You know, it's been dark for like four hours. It was crazy. So, that was pretty neat. Anyways, alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!